Hello, and thank you for tuning in to the first edition of Rams Roundup for the Fordham men's and women's swimming and diving teams. I'm Sean Hayner here with head coach Steve Potsglan. Coach, how are you doing today? Doing great. Great to hear. Coach, your teams have started off 6-0 and so far this season. How important is it to start the season off that way? It is an awesome start, but most importantly, we're focusing early in our season on encouraging the, the swimmers to get up, race fast, race tough, and focus on details. Coach, looking forward a little bit, the women have a meet this Friday at home against Army West Point. What challenges do you expect from that team? We want to take that same intensity we had when we went up to Marist last week and really race tough and race fast, and we want to take that right into this meet. We're not going to change our training or slow down or alter anything to try to produce some better results. So we want to just see how tough we are under you know, uh, really difficult situations. Coach, looking to the men's side of things, the men don't race again until both the men's and women's team head up to Boston on November 7th. What does that break mean for the men's team? Uh, it's not as much as a break. Um, it's a good time just to focus on going up to a, a superior team, a team that's probably a little bit faster than us. I really like the way we went up to a, a different venue, an away venue up at Marist, and really challenged them. We haven't beaten them in 20 years, so I was very proud of the way our guys came in, raced tough, stepped up, and really uh, brought home a win. All right, best of luck. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Back now with senior Steve Scholdra of the Fordham men's swim team. Steve, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing well. Thank you. So, Steve, you were A-10 Performer of the Week this week, your 11th weekly overall award. How does that feel? Uh, it feels really awesome. I really didn't expect it. I mean, we got some great divers here. Like, I knew Wendy was going to get an award, but it was just great to be out with the team and racing again. It's been a long time. Now, you're listed as a distance swimmer. We've, you previously, previously have held the record in the Atlantic 10 for the 1650. You have the school record here in the 1,000, the 500, and the 1650. But this week, you also had a couple wins in the 400 IM, the 200 breast, and the 200 fly. What do you do that makes you such a versatile swimmer? You know, I kind of just like doing things other than distance swimming because it's a lot less boring, you know. Doing a 400 IM is awesome because you got all four strokes. It's kind of like doing an all-around swimmer. I mean, I'm not great at any one individual stroke, but just doing them all together. It's a lot of endurance swimming. It's kind of the same aspects of distance, but a lot more fun. So you have a little bit of a break now. The men's team isn't racing again until November 7th when you head up to Boston. What are you going to do with this break to prepare for that meet? Uh, we've been putting in great training over the past few days. We've been doing like over 10,000 yards a day. So we've been really hitting it hard, and I think we're just going to keep going with that for the next week and a half and then see what happens at the end. All right. Steve, best of luck. Thank you very much for coming on today. Thank you very much. We're back here now with sophomore diver Wendy Espina Esquivel. Wendy, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm, I was just training. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So, Wendy, how has the transition been transitioning from University of Nevada, Reno, into Fordham? Well, it's having a... It's like Fordham is a whole new, different place for me because Nevada, when I was, there was, we, I was in Reno. So it was like a really small town. And here in Fordham, it's totally different. And I feel way better being in New York and studying at Fordham. You seem to be transitioning very well. You broke two school records in your first meet against Marist. You're Atlantic 10 Performer of the Week this week. How does it feel? It feels really good. I wasn't expecting something like that because I have my shoulder injured. So I've been, I have, I have had some problems training, but my coach have been really helpful with me and really supporting. So I did good, and I was really, I wasn't expecting doing that good. So I'm really thankful about that. All right, well, Wendy, thanks for coming on the show today. Best of luck. All right, thank you. And that does it for this week's edition of the Rams Roundup. Thank you to my guests, Coach Potsklan, Steve, and Wendy, for all coming on the show today. The women will be back in action this Friday against Army West Point, and the men have the weekend off. For WFUV Sports, I'm Sean Hayner. Thank you for tuning in.